you know, I think the hardest part of this YouTube video thing is trying to find the right words for an intro. I think continuing the video is easy, but the first part is always the hardest. Please, allow me to show you something. Anyways, today we have another exciting shoot uh, for my church today and currently it is Friday which means shops are closing over the weekend um, so I also need to pick up some gear for Monday's shoot as well. You might have seen the videos I was watching at the start of this video, which I'll link in the description for two filmmakers that I watch. Uh, firstly, Mark Bone and Spencer Sakura, I believe, um, where they were just talking about different lighting setups that they use. And I think that's perfect as a filmmaker to continually learn uh, because they do some really cool shoots, really high-end production shoots, as well as they have some great advice and great tips. So I uh, highly recommend checking those guys out. Uh, the reason I was watching mainly videos on lighting was because my current setup is okay. It's with the 120D and a uh, just a, I believe, 80 or 90 centimeter softbox. And it's okay. Um, it just doesn't give the uh, as big of a spread as I would like. And I also have a shoot booked in on Monday with a new client. And we need to light a larger area. So today I'm going to pick up an uh, umbrella which is about 180 centimeters. So that should be pretty cool. And sorry if I'm speaking a little fast, I am running uh, on time, but I do need to be a little bit hasty. Only thing that's holding me back now is just waiting for the Canon R5 footage to download or to dump off my SD card. And that is taking a while. Chilly. All right, we made it. Not much traffic, which was awesome. Perfect timing. Oh, I gotta go head back to church now so we can start filming. Good morning. Yesterday I got bombarded with some edits to do. Uh, it's okay, we got through it all. Now it is Saturday, which is perfect because I'm going to do my favorite thing. Using the uh, umbrella yesterday was awesome. It worked like a charm. The only thing I would say is since it is such a large light source, trying to lift it a little bit higher, it hit the roof. Um, so the hot spot was like just around their chest instead of their head. Um, maybe I just have to do a little bit of playing around to fix that up. Uh, but I ran out of time a little bit to test out even the diffusion panel. So I'm gonna do that today. Um, and also test it out with some other lights. Maybe you have just a small uh, LED light that you might wanna uh, make into like a nice softbox. So I don't think you really need a 120D to do this um, setup because the 120D just gives a little bit more power than anything, but I think you can still create that really nice soft look uh, with any light. So I'm gonna try that out later today, uh, but for now we are heading to the markets. I'm just about to pick up Bayo, uh, and then we're gonna go eat some bacon egg rolls. Oh, 
Alrighty. I didn't end up filming the other day, uh, but we have hit Monday. So the gear is all packed and we are heading to the first shoot where we're for real gonna test out the umbrella and see if it's any good. So that's a wrap on the shoot. It turned out really good. I used the umbrella pretty much for every single shot, both in, uh, we shot in a, an apartment, a office, and the showroom. And it was really cool. The tiles are definitely awesome. And it's really cool to see how many tiles you can actually select from. One thing about the umbrella using it, firstly with the softbox, I tried to use it with um, putting it in the spigot I just bought and it didn't really work too well, so I have to put it in the light next time um, and remember to do that. But I found with the umbrella, uh, it was super soft and made the light that I was looking for. I found the 120D is okay. It definitely could have a bit more juice because I uh, put the diffuser on it and I felt like it was just cutting so much light out that I just ditched the diffuser. Um, so if I had a 300D, maybe I would use the diffuser more, but I think so far I'm pretty happy with just using the umbrella and bouncing the light into it. Uh, I think I said this before, but I think you can use like any other light or do a similar job. I have an Aperture 672C, which is the bicolor version, and it will just bounce in there and really create that nice spread. But um, yeah, having the 120D is, is helpful, especially because it has a little bit more juice than uh, that light. But if I had a 300D, that would make it even better. So I think that is the next upgrade I would probably get, which would be a 300D. Using umbrella uh, on set, only thing I found is that it did hit the roof a few times just because I wanted to raise it. And also it is a quite deep thing. So it's not really, um, a solution if you don't like how deep a softbox is, you're still going to need to have a quite deep area to have this actual softbox or this umbrella. But all around, it created a really nice like light and I really liked that look. Um, essentially, it's like a book light, which really sold me on the effect when um, Spencer actually mentioned it. I was like, sold, I'm gonna get it. And yeah, it turns out really good. I like how also it's super easy to set up, like so quick and it packs down so small uh, that I'm pretty uh, confident that I can transport it anywhere. Now I have the 180 centimeter one, uh, which works amazing. I think I could even get a smaller one if I wanted to fit it in my Pelican case. Uh, but for now, I'm happy just to chuck it in my car. And if I get a C-stand case, I'm probably just gonna put it in there anyway. Uh, but that's it for me on this one. I'm super tired. I got to actually do a whole bunch of edits. I'm um, going skiing uh, later this week. So I just got to wrap up a whole bunch of work before then. Um, so hopefully you got something out of this video. Uh, if you're looking for a large light source and you have a small LED light, definitely get an umbrella, bounce it in there. It's going to create that really nice large feel. So, oh. That's it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Please, allow me to show you something.